I will give you words to speak, and when you stand on your little soap box, oh orator, yeah, they will latch on to every last word you say, but unlike that which is a responsible soul to repent when they hear prophecy against their lives and their persons, like Sia, they are ever gonna swing on a chandelier, on a chandelier, they are gonna fly like a satanic bird in the sky, and they're not gonna do anything right. They are gonna swing on a chandelier, on a chandelier. Like little monkeys that will swing on a chandelier cause that's like, yeah, you're gonna swing on a chandelier. You're gonna swing on a chandelier. You're gonna continue to be an incontinent baboon. Like King Kong on a mountaintop, you will keep on bashing your chest cause you've been predicted to do such a thing as that. The wicked will stay wicked. Evil men and imposters will wax worse, deceiving and being deceived. It's a last day's epidemic. This here is to be expected. Yeah. So I am not afraid. I'm not very afraid. Instead, I'm just looking up, lifting up my head for my redemption draws near. Ah, that's who I am. I'm waiting for Christ to come back. The Lord does say you'd be below the belt. That despite making clear observations of the obvious veracity of God's word in fulfilling itself in the lives of saints, despite the great apostasy that we're all gazing at, because I mean, you all are chilling in churches, yet you are doing witchcraft, right? Despite this great apostasy, men falling away. Despite the fact that people hate one another, betray one another, false prophets going out into the world, and you've made me live in a little refrigerator because your love has grown cold despite all these things coming to pass you will nonetheless hate us and you will still continue to plot and scheme our funerals but god has this to say don't be afraid don't be very afraid when you get to the front over there in front of governors and kings watching your content from the city under the sea that's what's good yeah everything you say they're not going to be able to resist it they're not going to be able to resist it. And not a single hair on your head is going to perish. Some of y'all, they will send you to the very death. But even in death, not a single hair on your head is going to perish because precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. You have no clue what you are doing. Like the IDF, we will have incredible victories. But despite those incredible victories, you will continue to go back to the drawing board over and over and over again. You will do that which is predictable because I mean, really, are you not predictably just going to do this? Are you not predictably just like Judas out here betraying the son of man uh, and then giving back your 30 pieces of silver only for them to be thrown on the floor and then following which you then go and commit suicide, eh? You've been predicted to do a strange thing. You've been predicted, yet nonetheless you do it because you are predictable. Hmm. The body of Christ has been giving occult practitioners a run for their money since the very beginning of time. Yet nonetheless, randos be you continuing in their persistence against us. It is not an understandable feat that which they walk in. Nonetheless, they excavate and excavate and dig up a grave and a hole in a two. And some spiteful behavior in these streets only for it to come back and nab them in the behind. You get devoured by your own schemes and your own little fronts and frets, okay? You get humiliated by your own You get defeated by your own stunt work. You get... You get defeated by your own stunt work. So, okay, my swabi, I'm sorry if my phone is falling apart. Just like everything in my life is falling apart. There's a little bit of an earthquake going down, but God has this to say about earthquakes in various places. Don't worry. Look up and lift up your head for your redemption draws an eye. So that's what I'm doing in the midst of this earthquake, okay? I brought this ice pack to cool my phone down, but I think it's cool enough the environment for me to continue to speak. Get this all. You will continue plotting and scheming. So I kill it's hard because look at I don't expect you who lengi samatsoho. It is also not predicted by God that you will lengi samatsoho. You will not like us for proving that God is God, just like Elijah on Mount Carmel. We are to be saying God is God, duh, because we burned the sacrifice by calling on God and He brought fire from the sky, despite making an observation of God's obvious girth, might, oomph, impetus, and propellant. That is his ability to respond to saints anything that they ask for. You making this observation, you don't repent. You make like Jezebel. May the gods deal with me ever so severely. If by this time tomorrow Elijah is not like one of the prophets of Baal. Hey, Bajong. Chiki kimo ga vai vai. Baal. Nzabina bina. Kill him like Baal. Prophets. 
Destroy the mice of Baal. Prophet has by. Trying to kill Elijah. Elijah does not die. He rather gets taken to the river Jordan and then taken away by a chariot of fire. You will keep doing that all the way up until we're in the sky. You're gonna swing on a chandelier. On a chandelier. You will keep on doing the most. Of course, there will be some who will be turned over to righteousness, but long. Oh my goodness, I mean, what kind of rubbish is this? I mean, really? If only I'm. Fananani, it just keeps falling apart. Where's the gang in there? I cannot have a little one. I check a phone and say, what? Little one. You are gonna get hurt like my phone is gonna get slammed. But I need my phone. Did I think I left for uni? Uh, so I get wait la pa jaga get la balona. So I guess I'll take out the battery. My phone keeps falling on you. Gonna spit up a fini malona. Gonna fry a gam malona. Call it rubbers up, gaffra. Yeah, fool. I cannot have a little luna. Hello, go bane. Hello, kaze. Balale kai bolaya. Really good riddance. You have made it easier. Um for us all because really for us to have to flail a weapon and stuff and actually kill you it's just so much work so we're better off when you um you know kill yourselves Tomo hang on go do it oh brother brother and sister except nothing of you is a brotherly or sisterly in last time needs to be the man take one in the best brand eh? I don't know how to be more strutting. Snaffy has a good mina black particles getting him off. Get low, I'm on the fitting thing. Set up well again, you went on Guyana. Sure. I thought it was a blight in my ministry. Oh, Guyana, 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 Guyana,
not talk about it. And when each one of you dies, we do not drink drinks. I just like when Julie said the other day, "Horo ho talk about it." Some check on my band yesterday. Today, giddy guy, giddy thirty. It's October twenty twenty four. One of your women, one of your females in the cult. They're under thirty four. She died yesterday. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> Your little chicken chickens, a female that passed away is all. Me, twenty-nine. So October, uh, at the age of thirty-four. So when I say that dominoes are about to drop, hey, believe me, they're gonna drop. And then Bontuana, that you are not giving access to these videos. Bontuana, that you are not showing Grisha Pukuti Bats have in. They are going to flay la maflaha a white. And they're going to quit nonsense before it gets too far. Because now is the time. Deliverance I'm Sanje, not tomorrow, not day before. Not somewhere, you know, in, in I could say, like laterally. You, it's now. Now. Now is the death of Nasrallah. Now is the destruction of the Ring of Fire. Now. <laughs> Bantuan and Dini that have been newly recruited into the occult to a point where Aningi Sabi, Utwela, Mamelang, boy, little boys, boy, little girls, new recruits. You may manage your sister Mavis, but for the kingdom of heaven, always hang the cartwheels all up in your grill on some. I used to be a gymnast, Mamela. Din changa na salona, sele rukuti leng. Hold the rope the medical bills tan kono, and stop going to Helen Joseph because while you feel a medical aid, they've put you in a position to have your pagers blown up and your walkie talkies blown up while they're on your ear. Little talk afal. Where now that's been working for the Okaltu Mafigi Zolo Yanawa two weeks ago. Baho recruited and Nodi Lasaka Wednesday last week. Grand Shapo Maban, Monday night, that's when you got the call. Hmm? Baba Booty Window, this little, like, Okalt boss guy. Oh, why did the window yaka get down? While you were walking home, Okato Toha Dicks. Otto call center job. And he was like, boy, boy, unjan. And then he gave you an errand. And Maria Katala Pobagniga's award 10,000 Renzenga. And you were like, yo, I'm sorry, my Linga Gaminanga Zengi born. I don't even earn 10,000. Go call Senteng Mugi Sevitang thing. So, Mutatong Fire enough for just one hour's worth of work. That's how they recruit my Kinza, right? But you tell yourself, who tell Funugu be Kinza? No, but I mean, really, to shoot a gun, you can't do that. But they're like, no, you don't have to be a Kinza. Just an occult practitioner. Hey. Lolly Mahler, Lolly Mahler. Pablo Escobar. There is a scene in Narcos where he recruits this. He looked like he could be like 22, 23. Girlfriend, that thing, it looked like she could be 19 or something. What recruiter a young man, if you've seen Narcos, to basically go on an aeroplane because he was a psychophant of Pablo Escobar because he lived in the slums of Colombia and like all the slums, he, he was worshipped like. <laughs> in in the show Narcos when they're doing chases inside the individual houses <laughs> of of people there you know how Colombia their main religion there is Catholicism and a whole bunch of people have got statues of Mary statues of Jesus pictures of Mary and Jesus on a wall yeah in some houses they showed pictures of Pablo Escobar looking like Christ Pictures of Pablo Escobar looking like Mary. Like they sainted him. They put like a halo around his head and created some kind of a picture that they put in a frame right next to Jesus and Mary. Nobody should be out here worshiping Mary. Nobody should create a graven image, not even of Jesus Christ. So that's idolatry on its own. And then they over and above it add <laughs> Pablo Escobar with a little crown of thorns on his head. That was the level of idolatry in Colombia of Pablo Escobar. Because he made themselves their provider. He made themselves their messiah. He made them he made himself, sorry, their God. And so these unassuming Colombians went on right ahead and worshipped a man 
that continued to sacrifice them like no man's business. I mean, it was no wonder organizations like the Los Pepes rose up. The Colombian police were all bought off by Pablo Escobar. So there were a whole bunch of things that other little vigilante groups that came up because we're not going to get anything from the Colombian police. Bonke, they are in, in the, on the payroll of Escobar. Do you tell Ukraine? Yeah. I mean, the gasing go so rich or the gasing go so shanguve, the gasing go mamilori, the gasing across South Africa, essentially. Gunabo Pablo Escobar, Angazi Abengaki, that are members of the occult, they live in mansions in Headfield, they live in Centurion, they live in Santon, they live in Umsanga, depending really on the province in question here. They live in high rises, they live in skyscrapers and penthouses, they jet set, but they are always giving little scraps of bread and recruiting into their little gangs of occult magic. Kids that are still struggling, Komi Kuku, Yago Kugulet, Banjal, Banjal. They are said they are running syndicates. They stop in front of the Kotani with some big fat BMW and they recruit young men and sometimes even young women into occult magic. Basari what they're getting into telling them they'll grow up in the ranks and one day they're going to be Pablo himself. So Pablo Escobar went and recruited this young man that had made Pablo a god. Do you understand? And said that all you have to do is press record in the airplane. Pablo wanted to kill the president of Colombia at the time or was it a president elect? He did not get on an airplane however. He missed the flight but inside this recorder this tape recorder was a bomb and it was supposed to explode this flight mid-air but this kid was deceived into thinking that he's just going to be recording a conversation pablo went to the slums of colombia sat down and ate and drank in this little house in the communas the small little cramped up house in the communas this little girl, this, this woman, newly with a baby. And this is now her boyfriend or slash husband, whatever, right? That's why I can't stand dogs. Do you understand? This, this girl was carrying her newborn baby, her baby daddy, the two of them so happy out here giving Pablo Escobar juicy sitting in their house. And they're like, Patron, Patron, you know, we love you. Yes, we're so grateful for the opportunity. And this chick is smiling. Eh? like ear to ear happy to serve a man that is setting up her husband for death this young man gets given a tape recorder goes on an airplane and blows himself up with that airplane yeah that scene in narcos God keeps using it time and time again to help me understand what they're doing with new recruits that they have recently recruited. Ka October in, ka November. A whole recruitment drive has been embarked on as a strategy against the body of Christ. Why? Because like the IDF, yes, like it. Sian Ravas. Like the IDF, we are mowing them to the ground. Like the IDF, di tabelo zarona. Like the IDF, our prayers are laying them waste. Every petition we are sending to God, they are getting gunned down. I've been getting dreams back to back. The past two days when I've been in hibernation, because I've been leisurely. So now when I find out, I'm like... And I can have a happy Lord, you see my underarm hairs. I don't shave for what, just in the same way that I don't cut my toenails. I'm at war, I'm not cutting my toenails. I'm not cutting my toenails. But you get my point. I can incentive you to groom. I can incentive you to lay the edges down nice and cute. Because I mean, like, really, when Pablo is out, you're la like launching bombs in your backyard. <laughs> Who got time for fell down toenails? <laughs> it is a heady sheet. So I'm out here, like, I'm blooming. I'm making like a flower. Mumpedong. <laughs> In an unventilated room, it's just a homo hotta down. 
but nonetheless at ease yo i'm chilling give fufu lewa the bullets because of what she's like i'm on a aircon you've made me live very hostile conditions in very hostile very that's wrong a woman should not live like this y'all like what's going on with you like your man it's a rumor that you've got big manhood as black men it's a freaking rumor because lebaka you are not men you are not men because you go and you grab umfazi and make her endure you will endure her through living like that just so you can rock up and play a little bit i'm only one cool away i am here to save the day jesus christ got nothing on me i'm only one call away Making yourself a messiah. What of it? I'm not as a Cinderella. I'm not even cooking with chicken or robotang, depending on the season. <laughs> because when I get it, I make sure I can't get a job. Get Hali Filer Kana. I am South Africa's gem. I'm the best this country has produced. God, I cannot partake in commerce. You've out here created a freaking mark of the beast system before the tribulation, and you think you're not gonna get knocked out? You think that means I'm going to go new egg in Prisa? In Janje, don't fufule loan. Because get hatted in a kudla mum kuku. I keep fufule loan enough mum kuku. And I'm cool, come on fufuto. That has nothing to do with fornication and embracing HIV in my stride or even a condom. Just a dude in Jefella. Or don't bitch it down because he had my body. Converting me into a prostitute. You fetish, you fetishize. Fetishize. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chaste women. Basadi, basalwane. Bas the women that have been celibate for years. Yeah. You are sent on missions for them. And the other one, unfortunately, capitulate. No one in Guinea is in Zambia. Zalwanga ni angisho. You come in making yourselves Christians, holier than thou. Look what you're doing. Next thing, cloth, cloth, lipis, lipas, Zalwan. You cause Christian women to break vows of celibacy that are five, six, seven, ten years long, and you are now looking at me. You have literally put me on a little roster. Your bullet points, your 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 numbered hmm? list of christian women that you need to cause to compromise by having sex with them law has been celibate seven, seven years law has been celibate five years law has been celibate three years and not just men, women but men too mm. and then you slide some jezebel into the dm some delilah into the dms of christian men and then you slide some little like random seducing spirit out of a man in the life of women next thing you like hi how are you so what are you doing to say <laughs> i had a dream of one literally having the brazen audacity malbani to ask me what am i doing on sunday he'd like to invite me to church <laughs> i mean really when you think that that's a cute line what are you doing this sunday i'm still umuntu with interests and who considers a particular type of man in the way that he speaks uh, adorable intriguing interesting just because you can quote christianese and speak stuff like what are you doing wednesday night on the bible study on a first date <laughs> it's a freaking dropping the ball <laughs> by the occult because haba they don't know y'all eh um nyanzwela haba tsini they don't know that about to button say but dilakana for they've got itching ears they've got tsebetsa di alien nankut these men have been dealing with me for years and the ones that have been here all this time they are recruiting new people to rock up as on kokote lawns <laughs> what are you doing on sunday <laughs> <laughs> They're recruiting new people to Shala Mika Bible study. <laughs> They've been doing that all this time. But they want to put young men and not just young men but new recruits in harm's way. Because I've been saying, Hori, you dare cast another spell on me. Little Tokafal. They are causing young men to experiment with me. <laughs> And these young men are like ones carrying walkie-talkies and pagers. I need the bathroom again. I'm back. <sighs> I don't know if you guys know this song. You probably do. Yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. In love with another man. If I could forget him. Oh, I would. Please believe me. Whatever. I've been hearing that song on a loop. And I've been seeing the music video of it. As a vision. Perpetually. Mamelang, guys, you like y'all don't understand just how much I hate occult practitioners. Like you don't understand. Things would never get to a point where I'm in the same room with one, 
or agree to meet with one. I am too spiritually gifted for that person to get to the point of me now organizing a lunch at Clearwater Mall. So for a man to seduce me the way that that guy seduces that woman in the music video, yeah, Jasmine Sullivan, in love with another man, where he will come to my place, collect his keys, close the door behind me, and I'm just overwhelmed by lust until I ultimately just have sex with some guy. I keep getting dreams like those on a loop. Basically, I told you guys that you are like war criminals that are into committing crimes against humanity in the deed of rape in particular. You're full of rape. You are full of rape. How na munna that can ever slap me korobel? That I'm not gonna dream about korobelea hai literally within 24 hours. And that's just the thing about ikorobelea corner, right? First you gotta cast it. And then you gotta sit back and wait and watch a woman essentially get dizzy with lust in your presence. Then only you're gonna get to hit that. Your roofies. Umuntos at the same time. You are naive. Mara, that's the thing. A lot of y'all that have zamad me kadi korobela zalona. And what have you. Nzele bamba all these years. However, I'm something that now needs to be killed off. You've come to a conclusion that I need to be killed off. Because I don't capitulate Angihali and in keeping a matop and Namabonga, coupled with the fact that I keep on saying what in your shona you're dying, Dincha. You are dying. And the best way to disprove my prophecies about your death is to kill me. You feel as if though if I died, then everything I've said is not gonna truly come to pass. But you see, I've been saying Guti Ukshona Gwenu is conditional. You don't have to die. I have been saying that. I've been saying that your death is conditional i've been saying that the only reason why god is killing you is because you won't move out the way it's because you have held me hostage i told you cease hostilities against my person i told you you can either repent if you want i mean you can take the gospel you can choose to go to heaven i mean that's price one that's number one going to heaven is first price mara should you feel like you hate god so much that i skelem so so but you also want to continue to, I don't know, trust this rubbish of yours. I did say that if you move out my way, God might let you live your worthless Solomon Grundy life until you're 98. Because this will But you see, y'all can't just let stuff go. You can't just let stuff go. But you've left Christians alone. But you do trust our prophecies. You believe them. Why? Because Hala Tokafala, is there no 34-year-old woman among you that died on the 29th of October, 2024? Shoni She just died. And now I'm letting you know, she was struck dead by an angel of God. She had to, she had to die. She was a judged woman. She had to go. To... They, in this time that I've been hibernating, essentially leisurely stretching my legs out to reclining my pillow. Yeah. Of people I don't know. One, one dream, there was a woman crying over a dead child. And I reclined my body and I was like, as in, in the ones with the churn, but it's like faro. Refusing to let the people of God go. And so then he plagues Egypt. God plagues Egypt. And so takes the firstborn children. So it's not ideal that Abantona should pass away. But I did say that some of y'all are going to lose kids. And there was a woman that was mourning over Umtana Kona the other day. Like I, I dreamt about a woman mourning Umtana. And then I, the Lord yesterday when I woke first thing. He said. Died today at age 34 died today at age 34 there is a 34 year old woman that reached that passed away is you can neither confirm this or not you know what's happened and he will keep telling me every last one of you that dies last night while i was busy eating dinner he kept saying to me pass over blood pass over blood pass over blood essentially the angel of death is flying over your houses and only those that have got the pl pass over blood over amanjuakon People are not going to die. In and of themselves, they're not going to die. Now tell me this. How many of y'all got Abba Zalwani? Guinea. How many of y'all have Christians standing in the gap for you? Guinea. 
le di satane hala rate ba zalwane la ba bolaya la ba ravaza le ba khoza go ba you cause them to be insincere you cause them to be discouraged so even if ni na ba zalwane you are working to the nail to humiliate them i've got a cousin in the family o pizi ntsang duba nka re ke do o pizi ntsang fudua nka re ke sop o ntsa le pizi ka nna ka ditlhare cause o batla go squall cha fever ya ka ya bo zalwane when she doesn't realize ukuthi mina if i stop standing in the gap for family ka ofela go tlhoka fala bana go tlhoka fala bo malume bo anti go tlha ona ntho ba tlo they just going to keep dropping like dominoes so what's god going to do i'm sure when you keep on bewitching your only cousin that's busy interceding for family gofel you go ke mo lorile ma obane ba mo olla hey guys this i told you she's going to die in a car accident like two litilis I had a dream of her being put in a, the back of a coroner's van no not in a body bag but in a black plastic bag eh ya ravi she pick it up you know the, the plastic bag the bin liner ke lori le bakeng ya melwa haya in the back of a coroner's van e seng ka body bag e maraka plastic bag ya dustbin that was God showing me how he feels about her it's like u dump e rubbish it's like u lasela de rubbish but never mo kenya ko coroner's van ha ba mo ba ya on a stretcher she wasn't on a eh eh she wasn't on a stretcher they just literally didn't care ba ba kenya rubbish mo hara you know the track at the these guys but pick it up ba pala ma ba ko vile steering ba ko vile staff sorry yeah and when the the the, the truck drives by they get out to run grab the bin throw the dust the, the, the bin in there the, the plastics in there and then run for the uh, moving vehicle ba pala me hape yeah the the way ba mo lahletseng ka mo hara the coroner's van ka thing it was like bashimani ba ba pick it up ba lahlelang rubbish and then run ho palam later she was dumped at the back of a coroner's van in a rubbish disposal plastic bag not in a body bag of course when she dies telling me that auto talk of fella on the scene she's not going to get taken to hospital auto talk of fella on impact on impact and she's going to have i had a, a, a dream the other day god comparing uh what do you call this accident ya khe to there is this movie this show that i watched on um what you call this on netflix called designated survivor the president of the united states loses his wife and one of the people in a car accident elo hore a truck came from out of nowhere and then hit the the motorcade yeah the presidential wife and when one of the secret service or whatever went to go and see the wife of the president inside the car to see what happened he immediately turned back and was like she's gone just by looking at umzimbawa gone and then later on it was communicated that she had a head injury basically oche sitwe in a way that literally broke her skull in and so she died on impact because of a truck that came from the side the lord recently said to me your cousin is going to die like the president the first lady in the movie not movie in the show designated survivor otlo otlo ba le kolwe e totlang from out of nowhere and it's going to hit her vehicle causing her to get a head injury and it's going to kill her straight away instantly so all that uh paramedics will be doing or first responders are going to be doing at the scene is so much is 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 just collecting a dead body not so much resuscitating anybody and in my dream bankile stopos agage ba ba mo lahlela ka mo hara coroner's van nka re ke rubbish that is the height of anger that god feels against that woman o busy trying to bewitch someone that is standing in the care for family kaufela the whole family people are not dying because of me i stood in the gap for abantu bagibo i am standing in the gap for abantu bagiti the human sacrifice ritual epidemic in south africa is so lofty that umuntu abantu bangena abangena bazalwane standing in the gap for them either in their families or you've got one that's a friend or whatever you are in danger if you don't have a local church that's always just praying over the community you are in danger and yet the occult is making war with christianity they're making war with the body of christ they are making war with people who are standing in the gap of even strangers like they're making war with amasonto abazalwane in families abazalwane in friendship circles abazalwane in the office they're getting christians fired they're essentially creating what would be the tenement of a mark of the beast like system 
where with a scorched earth policy, they are ripping all um, resources of the opposing army. So the Christians, they're trying to rip resources from us so they can finally conquer. So they can finally shed as much blood as they want to shed. So they can finally cause as many car accidents that hit kids on bicycles as they want. So that they can finally cause as many multi-car vehicle pileups on the highway as they want. So they can finally essentially shed as much blood as they need to effect big strategies that are national and of also international concern. Which is why I said celebrities are going to die. And politicians are going to die. Big men and women in countries, in, in South Africa in particular, I will speak for our nation. They're going to die because they belong to cults that are trying to shed more blood than they are already shedding in order to proliferate agendas that only they know they know what they want to do with their countries they know what they want to proliferate and there are these people standing in the way in churches there are these people standing in the way in households and neighborhoods in villages called christians Rababora. we are like ones that put passover blood over doorposts of entire villages because we are praying for Kral Gaufela. We are praying for a family Gaufela when we walk into a Woolies. The whole Woolies. Motu can't do a ritual there because in tongues as she's busy picking out bread. We are such a hindrance to what they're trying to do, which is why God calls us a restrainer. We are such a hindrance that they have literally declared a scorched earth policy on Christianity in the country. It is a global strategy, but right now I'm speaking for South Africa. And so they are deliberately disenfranchising Christians. They're taking us out of the workforce. They are causing us to lose our jobs. They are taking us, uh, they, they're causing us to be impoverished or be so burdened with problems that we will gr gr grumble against God. And when, when Christians grumble against God and they lament and they're mo mopey, basically what would be the ten amount of uh, pining, uh, gengi, sulking, it's hard to release umtandazo. The Bible says it is written therein that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. When your heart is sick, it's hard to get down on your knees and pray, to open your mouth and praise to God. When you are disgruntled, feeling like God umshiyile, you've forsaken me. It's really hard to exercise self-control over your grumbling spirit and pray anyway. The Bible says pray without ceasing. The Bible says the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So they try to smother or squelch prayer. If they cannot weaken the Christian through the company that the Christian has. So they will infiltrate a bad friend that's going to take you back to the club. Or they infiltrate a bad man that's going to brittle you with lust until you're making out with him on the couch for hours on end. Cause you to fornicate. If they can't make you watch porn. If they can yeah, they basically try to make you do things that will water down your your relationship with god and so therefore squall squelch quench prayer quench the holy spirit but if you don't quench prayer they then uh what is this they then go below the belt like super extreme and they start to then go out of their way to kill you but their death rituals don't work because they can't just stab a mirror and we die i said that the other day Whatever it is that they use to kill other people easily, it doesn't work on us. So what do they do? Seeing as we could not infiltrate a wicked man as a boyfriend that's just going to keep licking her face until she fornicates into Garaba's life. Seeing as we could not do, do ABC, they then go below the belt by causing so much disenfranchisement. Like I said, it's a scorched earth policy. They will impoverish you. They will call in favors everywhere. And they will say, make sure that every job she applies to, she doesn't get. Make sure that every, basically just a sabotage, like an exquisite amount of sabotage. Do you understand? That they walk in so as to ascertain that Umundu is, is so incredibly and ridiculously and voluptuously frustrated. They will cause so much frustration that you will then grumble against God. They try to cause apostasies, but you can't really make a Christian walk away from God. But you can smother their prayer life. Prayer of which it is written in God's word that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in God for the pulling down of what their strongholds. All the things that they erect, the monoliths that they put up 
We can bring them down, Mtandazo. We war not against flesh and blood. We are essentially a force to be reckoned with. From out of our mouths flow intercontinental ballistic missiles. We bring low entire occult organizations. Can thwart the works of an occult cult, a coven in the neighborhood. I struggle to keep my door open. I got prevent a strategy, strategy over an entire city from being fulfilled by a coven in that region. That is the power of a saint. Do you understand? So even though she's frail in waking life, walking with a walking stick, struggling to stay up all day long, umfazi okugile ukokoiwan can be such. A traumatizing hindrance to the occult that Bangam Pulotela Ogumbulala. They can literally say when she's going to go Ayolandi Sasa Grantiake, Ayoshai Swimod, Bangam Bulala. They can just cause a what looks like a, a mugging that's going to take out a woman that was easily letting go of Ipes. She was too slow to run, and yet Umfazi Uko Bambulelenje at the mall in what appeared to be a robbery. They will take her out. Basom neutralizer, so that that hindrance in that corner of world of the world in that part of town is taken out. But you see, their plots and their schemes to kill Christians. Like I said the other day, there is a linear regression constraint set in operation from heaven, where the Lord will say, "You can do this much and no more." So if the Lord is de is determined to keep a saint alive and praying in a certain region, no matter how much there is a botched robbery, no matter how much there is a shooting at a mall. No matter how much there is a this, the Christian will strangely elude the bullet and it will hit something or someone else. So, while, however, they will mow to the ground 20 people just trying to kill one Christian, they will cause a, a taxi accident. Just to get to Mzalone one inside. And this one Mzalwani and maybe other two other people will be the only ones surviving a horrible taxi crash. So that even when they go out of their way to physically try and kill, they can't kill Christians. Instead, other people catch strays. There was an occult um, testimony I was listening to. Well, a man that came from the occult that repented. And he was talking about how it is that to get to one Christian, occult practitioners are prepared to kill 20 people just to get to one saint. Banga cause an accident on the highway. Just so that among the 50 dead is one Christian. Because that is the amount of hindrance one saint is. So if God decides not, to, if the Lord is like, no, you are not going to kill my kid. All that will happen to that Gogo is that because the bullet that was supposed to come into her heart went into her leg. So she will be hospitalized for like two weeks. And for that two weeks when she is hospitalized, um, they might be able to succeed to do a strange thing in that neighborhood. But at the moment the woman goes back home, she is yet again covering that jurisdiction. She's dead again covering that area. Osa Tandaza. Uh, when she is in the hospital, there are people who do rituals at, at hospitals. Abortions that get committed there. Um, the blood that gets shed. There are cults operating, collecting the leakazi. They are doing uh, satanic rituals because there's a lot of death. Go the battling. No go colona. Because who admitted for two weeks. I'm a pen cheese keep on getting delivered by the trochol. Tap set up thing by the Loko colona will prevent mafu a ward gaufela. That they were trying to collect the souls off. Like people coming in, gadi, gadi gashes, open wounds, whatnot, literally about to pass away. But because they are in a ward right next door to Lokoko, Ikazlabona cannot get collected. Abantu that are lost, Ajim basically living to uh, tell a, a story, living to repent tomorrow, getting discharged when they were supposed to die. That kind of standing in the gap, Bafraza, Batu, Mobayang thing, and we are everywhere, all over society. We are everywhere. We are admitted in hospitals, like I said. We are new students in schools. We are new recruits in organizations. We are, uh, you get my point, we are, We live in villages, we live in uh, neighborhoods, townships. We, we live in uh, suburbia, see everywhere. And so they can't get rid of us. We are like a, a, a tough stain on garments. And when one moves out, Hoboto mover in family, Edu Langana Lady Bible study. Batung, Bashala Labantu Batandaza all night prayer. So Grandsham Sibula Lukoko or Resi hospitalizer Ukoko. And then E Nisiake 
came to take care of the house during the time that the grandmother is in hospital and the niece is also a praying saint so they meet with so many frustrations we are everywhere and so they have embarked on a below the bell strategy of the last days in this great apostasy a scorched earth where they are literally trying to disenfranchise Abbas Alwani. Bonk. They are trying to take us from gainful employment. They are trying to take us from anything at all to make sure that we will grumble because it works. It works. It does. Um, to impoverish us until she complain such that it becomes very hard to tandaza. It becomes very hard to fast. Basically, you start, you, you feel like I can now. What's the point? They're trying to discourage us. And when a saint is discouraged, they're still a saint. They will enter heaven when they die. Mara no longer are they a blazing inferno burning everything in her wake, in their wake. Because when your hope is deferred, your heart is sick. When your heart is sick, it is hard to pray. But listen to this, right? All things work out together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. It's written in the book of Ecclesiastes that it is better to be in a house of mourning than to be in a house of joy and laughter. When they are bereft, when they are broken, the occult underestimates the fact that some people don't so much break out into disquiet or irritation or grumbling against God. They break out into more feverish prayer. They enter into a fast precisely because they can't get a job. They enter into feverish prayer all night long precisely because there's something they can't shake. They get charged to be even more prayerful. So the season of disillusionment that they are in sometimes inspires more feverish prayer. So that's their frustration. The more attrition they put, they put us under, the closer to God we become. Because we on that day are then put in what is called a house of mourning. We are not happy. Like me, now personally, yes, like when I was working at MTN, I used to fast twice a week on Mondays and I think Wednesdays or Thursdays. When I lost my job, when everything was falling apart in my life, I started a fast on Wednesday and I didn't stop fasting for two years. Essentially, I ate one meal a year, a day for two years. And then I started to develop a discipline of praying under my breath in tongues all day because I realized to go to one little prayer uh, by my bed post like I used to every single day um, before I went to bed and one in the morning after waking up on my knees was not going to cut it. So I basically innovated a new way to pray. Pray all day long in tongues under your breath without anybody seeing or hearing what you are doing alongside constantly being in a fast. Right now, I've been in a fast for about three months and counting with me breaking the fast every so often, one or two days here and there. I will eat during the day, but largely I've been fasted because I am in an extreme amount of spiritual war. There is a deep psychosis on the part of South Africa. Do you understand know what I'm saying? So manje, when a saint is pushed to more fasting and more praying, Precisely because I told him to be precisely because I want to let rat precisely because I want to let communication no comfort precisely because nothing seems to be giving precisely because good to Lille the occult essentially then achieves what would be the tenement of the very opposite when we are weak he is strong the Lord is the one that charges us to suddenly develop a fever to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and pray until 7 was saying and the juice fuel petrol nobody can make you stop it's enough to make you sleep when the Lord has been the one to charge you no one can deliver from the hand of God including saints that have been charged to pray so their attempt from of Christians are failing when one is disquieted the body of Christ standing together in the gap I don't know where Sorry, Momuni. When one is moaned to the ground, ke pneumonia. Oko speteling. Ha ko ni huba energetic. Omong will rise up from the woodworks, or there will be a new convert. Eba tung. Ha na bato waga pelong o pala bazalo ne baba ncha. The way baling excited tika tengi. Mutwa tengo tabale ko all night prayer. O tabale rapela all night long kunyanya hai because oh we totally said it tongue this that and the other. God will call somebody on the on the next door. To get born again and now the salisi do auto experiment like a tapelo there is no end to how many christians they will try and kill off and they will never succeed until listen to this god tends to give people what they want when they are evil and they don't want to repent he will hand them over to a reprobate mind he will give them their strong delusion he will give them into by funayo when you kill one one raises up when you weaken one or you discourage one another one is encouraged another one gets born again and starts praying all night long we we are constantly standing in the gap for people making sure that they don't just get mown to the ground human sacrificed by people with no self freaking control seeing as you want what you want you will get it 
So God will finally give them their wildest dream. What is that wildest dream? To remove every last Christian from the face of the earth. The scorched earth policy, the intention of it is to exsanguinate Christianity from the earth and God is going to give them exactly what they want. He is going to reap the body of Christ in an event called the rapture. Then, when every Christian is eliminated, all of a sudden, every last occult ritual that they have done trying to achieve a thing is will succeed. Won't come my accident on the N1 highway as well in Zagala. Hey guys, you don't understand. All the child deaths that are going to happen in a school shooting are going to happen in one sitting, in one school district. Kuzo Tuchula, I'm a student I-70 Eskoleni, Ashone Wonke, across 50 schools in one district. There is going to be such a breakout of violence. We see it in the horsemen of the apocalypse that gallop out in the rider on the red horse whose name is War. And this rider on the red horse comes to bring Ukshon and Ognini. Men turn on each other, they slay one another. Babulayana, right on the street alongside, of course, intercontinental ballistic missiles, shelling, drones, wars by countries on countries alongside wars by from neighbor to neighbor little bulaya you are going to be given everything you want the occult have, has no button you know entropy i like saying that if there was no staying power no restraint if there was no god we had we would have all reached entropy you are about to understand what entropy looks like you are about to understand what is the nth degree of what occult practitioners can do on earth as much blood as they want to buy a collector as much wealth as they want they want to continue to do ama wealth transfers from as many people as they want they want to be able to take away as much as they want they want to cause all women that are pregnant in one particular district to all of them have abortions they want all pregnancies to be miscarried and yet somehow strangely the common grace of god is an application even on the lives of unbelievers where it is that they do a ritual to cause 50 abortions in one day and there's only two abortions why because of abba Zalwan. now you are going to get all those women aborting in one sitting all the women and men placarding outside abortion facilities as you're trying to tell a young woman en route aborting her pregnancy Ubuti, there's a way uh, an alternative there is adoption there is that there is this you yeah all these people are going to be taken out of the way so Emma Q are going to be snake-like at Helen Joseph snake-like South Africa abortion is legal and you don't even have to tell your mom from a certain age at 12 you don't even have to tell your mother you can just go and get an abortion time public hospitals with um kids and uh, teenagers pre-teens alongside women in their 20s 30s 40s pregnancies but what that's a public hospitals like no man's business but especially considering hurry uh this thing but there's something disastrous going on on earth i can't be keeping a baby when this is going on no matter well, okay one thing however that needs to be comprehended is that at the date of the rapture every last pregnancy inside a person's belly is going to disappear but there are going to be those that are going to fall pregnant after the rapture right uh, because the babies are going to get taken these women like i said snake like cues they're going to be dropped off all over the show because disasters falling apart they're going to be huddling with boyfriends and husbands and then after falling pregnant however about be uh, uh, however upon discovering the disaster in the world are going to be like me i can't be pregnant at this time <laughs> 